In this video, we'll be taking a look at the soft stop tangent terminal system. This is a MASH compliant system. It's designed to be installed with the 31 inch midway splice guardrail system. The manufacturer's installation manual includes an installation checklist. If possible, have this checklist with you as we go through this video. We'll be taking a look at some of the important points on the checklist. The first thing to look at is that all of the parts of the soft stop are Trinity parts. As noted by the embossed numbers and letters on each of the parts, you'll also see that there is a triangle with a T in it that stands for Trinity. The soft stop is a tangent system. This example is installed at a zero offset, but the soft stop can be installed at up to a two foot offset from the normal face of rail. Make note of the, the rails in the system. They're all straight. There are no curved rails. Even with a two foot offset, all of the rails in this system should be straight. Taking a look at the lower portion of post one and post two, you'll see that there are yielding holes. Those should be at finished grade level at post one and post two. Let's take a look at the anchor post. This is the anchor post. And the important thing to note here is that it should not protrude any more than four inches above finished grade level. Make note of post number two. The rail should not be bolted to the post at location number two. At all of the rest of the locations, the rail is connected to the post. Make sure that each of the posts from post number two on have offset blocks and make sure that those are fully in place and they're not rotated in any way. This is a 31 inch system. The 31 inches is measured from finished grade to the top of rail. There is a one inch plus or minus tolerance. Make sure that the rails are all lapped with traffic. This follows our normal main DOT lapping convention for both leading and trailing ends. Let's take a look at the impact head. The impact head has an L bracket underneath. That L bracket is what connects the impact head to the lower portion of post number one. That L bracket should be on the front side of the post and it should be fastened securely to the post. Make sure that the impact head has no more than two and a quarter inches of upward lift. That's as measured from the back side to the front side. There should be no more than two and a quarter inches of elevation difference between those two points. And those are measured from finished grade. Taking another look at the anchor post, make sure that there is a keeper plate. That's a thin aluminum plate that the cable passes through. Make sure that that is present. Make sure that there is a circular washer. And then make sure that the one inch hex nut has been fully tightened against that washer. Also make note that there is a strut that connects the anchor post with post number one. The longer flat side should be up and the shorter side should be down toward the finished grade line. Finally, make sure that all of the connections throughout the system have been tightened and are in their snug position. That completes the checklist for the soft stop tangent terminal system. Make note that in the field, there would be reflective sheeting attached to the end of the impact head. For more details, make sure to refer to your manufacturer's installation manual. And make sure that you fully understand this system before you attempt to install it or inspect it. Thanks for watching.